This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 10SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with an unboxing plus on feet video of the limited to 999 pairs Puma King Luxury Edition. Now as you can see, it comes in the clever little bag packaging from Puma. It's a black bag with your gold Puma logo on top. Um, not only is it the box for the shoes themselves, but once you've removed the shoes from the packaging, the bag itself acts as your boot bag for the shoes. So it's kind of a nice little extra that they've incorporated into the packaging, make it more environmentally friendly, and it's overall a pretty cool idea. Now it's actually kind of difficult to get these out on camera, so I'm going to take it out of the box off camera and we'll get straight into the shoes themselves. Alright, well here is a look at the shoes themselves and obviously these are incredibly good looking, at least in my opinion. It is more of a blackout, but you do have your metallic gold accents throughout that really make this a unique looking shoe overall. Now I'll show you guys all the gold accents on the shoe. You have your gold accent stitching and Puma logo there at the base of the tongue. The same goes for what you have at the top of the tongue. You got your gold accent stitching, then of course it says King Luxury Edition right there in metallic gold. Also in metallic gold, you have the Luxury Edition King logo right there with that little kind of racing stripe design you're going to find on all of the Kings. You do have the metallic gold. It actually looks like gold plating on the heel counter on both the outside and inside. This one has the Puma logo right there, whereas this one has the King Luxury Edition logo on the outside. On the back, you will find another gold Puma logo, as you guys can see. The King Luxury Edition branding right there once more. And then at the base of the sole plate, again, you'll find the Puma logo, another Puma logo, and of course it says Puma King Luxury Edition once more on the shoe itself. Give you guys a quick look at the insole. It is like a very nice suede material, and this is where you're going to find the numbering on the shoe itself. There again, King Luxury Edition. This is pair number 137 of 999 total pairs. So obviously this is a numbered limited run of soccer shoes, under 1,000 pairs in total, um, which is pretty small quantities, and also part of the reason why they have a higher than average retail price. These guys retail for $275 US, although you can get them for a little bit less through the links down below in the description um, that I have provided for you along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Um, but the $275, uh, $275 retail is definitely a lot higher than the regular $150 that you would pay for a standard pair of Kings. So you're probably asking yourself, why am I paying so much more money for this particular shoe? Is there actually any difference between the Luxury Edition and the standard Puma King? And the answer to that question is yes. Is there a huge difference between the two? I would argue that there isn't. This is more of a collector's item. Of course, it is very, very wearable, and the quality is a little bit better than the standard King, but it's not for everybody, and if you don't think the price is worth the money to you, um, then I definitely would just stay away from the luxury edition of the King altogether. You'll be just as happy with the standard model. Now, what's different between the regular King and the luxury edition King is that the luxury edition King is actually made from kangaroo leather, whereas the standard King model is made from a calfskin leather. So yes, the quality is definitely a lot better, in my opinion, on the leather areas of the boot, on the Luxury Edition King versus the standard one. You can see you do have the leather area in the forefoot area of the boot, also running up the top of the boot, as you guys can see. And then, of course, this little side patch here on the outside is also in leather, whereas the synthetic materials here, to me, just look a little bit better. You have that stamping of that Puma King logo here in the shiny black piece of synthetic just looks really really good not going to do anything for the performance but again it just has that nice elegant kind of high quality kind of vibe about it just with the stamping on there but overall i have to say that the quality of the kangaroo leather on here is definitely very very nice better than the standard king if it's worth it for the extra money if you like the look if you want the limited availability of the shoe itself then yes 275 is worth it if that's not something that's important to you then again i would probably just stay away now as far as the rest of the boot goes it's pretty standard you have your central lacing system here with a leather tongue your external plastic heel counter which is really really nice I like that they incorporated that on the Puma King for 2013, it's something that we've never seen before up until now, and it also is part of the reason why this is a relatively lightweight soccer shoe. The heel liner on the inside is actually a synthetic leather material, a nice amount of padding, and overall this is just a very, very comfortable boot, which is what we've come to expect from the Puma King model over the years. 
Now the sole plate itself is made from PBAX plastic. Um, it's a very responsive, very flexible plastic, so it's very comfortable to wear um, on your feet. And then of course you do have the brand new Puma King 2013 stud pattern, where it's a fairly standard layout, but the studs themselves kind of have more of a square shape to them as opposed to being conical. Of course you do have your three conical studs here at the base of the forefoot, but for the most part it feels more like a conical stud pattern, but with just that little bit of extra grip at push off and a little bit less maneuverability. So kind of a more modern take on a classic stud pattern and it definitely does perform well on firm natural grass plane surfaces. So that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. I'm gonna move on to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. For being a more traditionally styled soccer shoe, the Puma King actually feels pretty lightweight both in hand and on feet. So I'm gonna weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size nine US. We're gonna throw it on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at nine ounces, which I believe is a little bit more than the standard version of the King. Again, I'm not sure if this is due to extra material used on the shoe or just the kangaroo leather versus the calfskin leather used on the standard model. It does weigh a little bit more, but like I said, the quality seems to be a little bit better. And in terms of what you're gonna be able to feel on feet, there really isn't any kind of difference between the luxury version and the standard version of the Puma King. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video goes. And move on to quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the luxury edition Puma Kings on feet. And in terms of the overall styling of the shoe itself, I absolutely love the look of this shoe. Um, definitely right at my alley in terms of style and colorways that I like to wear. Um, the all black with the metallic gold accents looks absolutely amazing. And uh, if you're looking to stand out in a different way, this is definitely one of those shoes that's gonna do that for you. As far as the overall feel of this shoe from right out of the box, there definitely is a notable, noticeable difference in quality between the Puma King Luxury Edition and the standard Puma King. In the favor of, of the Luxury Edition, the leather definitely feels a lot softer and flexible, especially from right out of the box. And you can tell that it is, is just better quality overall. Is it worth the jump in price going from 150 to 275? Again, that's really up to you. But if you were wondering if the Luxury Edition did feel better than the standard model the answer to that question is yes they do as far as the overall fit of the shoe itself goes it is a fairly generous fitting shoe it is suitable for most foot types even if you do have slightly wider feet you're going to get plenty of stretch out of the leather in the forefoot and toe box area and overall it's just much more generous fitting than you might expect from a puma shoe of course you do have that synthetic going across the puma logo on both the inside and outside of the boot that does provide a little bit more of a lockdown feel in the forefoot giving you that kind of comfort of a classic traditionally styled soccer shoe with the lockdown of a modern design. So overall, you kind of get the best of both worlds here. I know a lot of people are not happy with the amount of leather that you get on the Puma King, but the feel is still very, very good. As far as sizing goes, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. They do run true to size. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going for your regular size for the best possible fit. So that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of this video goes and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Puma King Luxury Edition. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a little bit better quality than the standard version of the Puma King in that it does have a kangaroo leather upper as opposed to calfskin leather, but the difference in quality is definitely not a night and day, but I would say that it is noticeable, especially on feet. So if you want something that is a little bit better quality, um, perhaps a more premium version of the Puma King as opposed to the standard version, this is definitely something to take a look at. It is a collector's item, only 999 pairs. And if you do want to get a pair of these for yourself, there will be a buy it now link down below in the description, along with an exclusive SR4U coupon code to get yourself some additional discounts if you want to get a pair of these for yourself. As far as the forward review goes, guys, if you want some more information on the overall performance, the same review applies for the Luxury Edition as it does for the standard version of the Puma King. Again, the only thing to keep in mind is that this version is made from kangaroo leather, whereas the standard version is made from an inferior in quality calfskin leather upper. Um, so if you want to read the review and just kind of substitute the two for yourself, um, it should do just fine as far as getting the performance essentials of this particular boot. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the comments. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.